talking. Are you sure you want to do this? This station looks spooky. Um, Kasumi, what do you have? Let's take somebody that can get through some armor. Warp would do it. Uh, what about Said? Let's take Miranda and Garrus. Hey, why are they all wearing SR2 shirts? That's my thing. Hmm. Escape. Yes, that's a good sign. Okay. Stay frosty, everyone. Ooh. Dr. Galwind, at my suggestion, we have cut power to all systems, save critical life support, in hopes that disabling these systems will deny the VI the resources she needs to kill us. This is a temporary solution. We cannot last this out on our own, Dr. Tallison. Rogue VI, huh? Restore power to the docking area docking at least. Area power restored. Intruders are requested to report to the cargo doors for immediate removal from station. Um negative VI cannot comply. Intruder detected. You are not authorized to be in this area. Dr. Galwind. My firm belief is that the VI is paranoid about the possibility of infection. Its current homicidal behavior is likely out of an inflated desire to keep us from shutting it down. I believe that the VI is malfunctioning and that it believes our equipment to be effect infected by a virus. If we continue to try to shut her down, she will keep trying to destroy us. Maybe our only recourse is to just do nothing and convince her that we're not a threat. Dr. Tallison. Whatever Dr. Tallison thought, it apparently wasn't correct, because everybody died. Power outage detected in the station. Mainframe is locked down for security purposes. Right. Mess hall. Attention all docks personnel. We are expecting a shipment of mechs, mech parts from the Hane Kadar facility on Capic, Haskins, Titan, Nebula. Make sure the VI knows to accept a docking request from the freighter MSV Corsica. Signed, Jennings. So, the mechs came from elsewhere before they arrived here. It seems like the VI got infected with something, or was afraid it was going to be affected by something. I think the VI wants us to find something. She's opening doors for us. Uh, or at least some some doors are open, some are not. Alright, restore power to the living quarters, living please. Area power restored. The living area doors have been closed to quarantine a threat to this station. Advise intruders to engage self-destruct procedures to avoid death by starvation. I see. In case we've got a... Oh, I see. One door enabled. No. Three doors enabled. Mm, no. Two doors enabled. Three doors enabled. One door enabled. One door enabled. 
One door enabled. One door enabled. Wait a minute. Three doors enabled. One door enabled. Three doors enabled. One door enabled. Three doors enabled. All doors disabled. Three doors enabled. Three doors enabled. One door enabled. Three doors enabled. Two doors enabled. Three doors enabled. Three doors enabled. One door enabled. Three doors enabled. Two doors enabled. I. Three doors enabled. Not getting it. One door enabled. One door enabled. Three doors enabled. Two doors enabled. Three doors enabled. One door enabled. One door enabled. Three doors enabled. All right, fine. Is that that's probably not what we need, is it? No, we need that freaking door open. Just climb through. This looks like the scene of the um, face hugger attack in the in Aliens, where Newt and Ripley are like hiding from it and smashing it behind tables and stuff. Three doors enabled. Uh, One door enabled. Three doors enabled. Two doors enabled. Three doors enabled. Two doors enabled. Five doors enabled. Oh, well, there we go. Oh, God. Garrus, what the hell, man? Did you come through the window? Freaking creep. I think I'm going to go and research first. Did that get me? I don't know what that got me. Let's go anyway. What the? Okay. Make up your mind, damn it. That opening something here? No. To engineering then. Kills your shields, huh? Oh, Miranda's down. Kennings! I'm positive the trouble with our VI started after the Corsica docked with us. Talison is looking into the VI itself. In the meantime, I need you to go through the logs and find out everything that was on that ship, Dr. Gowand.
Hang on, guys. I'll bring you back. All attempts to decontaminate station have failed. Require more power to escalate defenses. Poor bastard. He was almost to his target. Engineering, restore power. Maintenance area power restored. You guys back? You're back. Thank goodness. Deactivated Jarahi Station's security protocols escaped the station. 156 experience. 7,500 credits. 2,000 iridium. Something tells me there's more to this mission. Anyway, looks like we're going now to recruit the Krogan. Uh, but first, we'll re explore the rest of this solar system. Osalari. Osalari. Covis Solarian Fire Maiden is a boiling hot dwarf planet close to the G-class star Emir. Too hot for lucrative exploration, uh, exploitation. Its only satellites are defunct solar arrays destroyed by pirates long ago. Moderate. Pfft. <laughs> oh, Corliss, right. Okay, let's check out everything else. What? What was that? Was that Corliss? That was Corliss. Okay. Thing in the asteroid belt. Gregas. Cold and distant, Gregas is currently 65% rock by mass and 35% frozen methane and nitrogen ices. In the planet's, quote, summer years, these percentages change as the sun heats its ice and, eva and it evaporates into a thin atmosphere. Its calcium heavy crust has been scouted by countless coreless surveying teams, most of whom came back empty handed. Palladium! Quotus. A hydrogen helium gas giant. Quotus is used by countless spaceships to discharge their drive cores after coming into the system. Commercial vessels restock on their supplies of helium 3 from one of its many orbital platforms. Travel advisory. Piracy at Helium-3 refueling stations is common in the Emir system. Visitors are encouraged to use the escorts provided by the Corliss security fleet to and from the system's mass relay. To prevent escort fraud, always ask for identification from the escort ships and compare them to those found on the Corliss security fleet's extranet sites. Very smart. Very smart. Eh, moderate. 
Horless. Dr. O'Kear. Krogan scientist. Sounds like a misnomer. Corliss. A garbage scow with a climate, was how one Citadel Council member described Corliss at the turn of the century. And ever since then, the Corliss Tourist Bureau has been attempting to rebrand their planet. It hasn't worked. Though they have tried calling it the recycling center of the galaxy, corruption scandals and a staggering murder rate ensure that Corliss's image is permanently stained. Corliss's biggest business is the recycling of decommissioned or junked spacecraft into their component parts. While the invention of Omnigel has made this process significantly cleaner, it is still a dirty business that chokes Corliss's sky with smog and fills its ports with megatons of scrap. A shady hospitality industry and a scavenger underclass round out the spectacle of urban decay. Travel Advisory Corliss ranks second in murder per capita in the Terminus systems after, uh, and first in off-worlder murder. Civilian traffic is encouraged to employ security professionals when visiting. 3.8 billion, that's a pretty high population. Wow. Hmm. Uh, Dr. O'Kear, Corgan Scientist. We should take along Morden, because he's a scientist. Maybe we'll just talk to O'Kear. Um, we may need... a Cerberus representative on this mission. Hmm. I think we're going to take Zaid, actually. We need some range. Morden and I are both close range. Right, you have a new power to, uh, level to unlock. Concussive shot. Weapon overheat. Ah, that would be valuable. Let's do that. Warden, you have one point. Okay, we'll leave you alone. I'm going to say everybody's fine on the weapons. Whoa! The doesn't say if Okir is on this planet by choice. Assume hostiles. There is only one measure of success. Kill or be killed. Canned orders over loudspeaker. Classy. Stay focused. We're looking for a Krogan warlord. Oop, nope, that, that, this. Yeah. Hmm. This planet has a population of like four billion. Look out position. Equipped for combat. Hmm? Oh shit. Ouch. Um. Oh, I don't have anybody that can do overload. Ah, son of a bitch. Should do the trick. was harmless, did you? Hmm. Charge? Oh. Oh. 
Yeah, that's what I thought. What is this? Shit, shit. I won't stop bleeding. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you son of a bitch. Suck it up, soldier. I've seen worse. He doesn't need to know that. <laughs> I knew it wasn't berserkers. Ah, not at range. You're mercs or alliance. I'm not. I'm not telling you anything. You're not in the best bargaining position. I'm looking for a Krogan named Okir. Who? <laughs> you already know more than I do. I just kill Krogan. The old one in the lab dumps crazy ones down here all the time. Jador hired him to make her an army, but the Krogan he creates are insane. So we use them for live ammo training. It's all crap. I don't get paid enough to goddamn bleed out. Outpost 4, Jador wants us to move. We need coordinates on that Krogan pack. What's he talking about? Jador runs a, a Blue Sun's outlier, and she's making Krogan for an army. But they all come out crazy, tough as hell, but just insane. Doesn't make sense. Breeding facility's too expensive, not worth the cost. I don't know. I, I just point and shoot and bank my credits. Maybe there's something better in the labs. I want your friends gone. Understand? Uh, patrol? The last group dispersed. Lost sight five minutes ago. Dispersed? Jadora will be pissed. She wanted a show. You asked for a report. You got it. Dispersed. Understood. Returning to the labs. There. You see? I'm helping. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Is Jadora's lab heavily guarded? There are big guns to keep ships away. We're not outfitted to fight goddamn commandos. What's Jadora planning to do with all these Krogan? Replace us, probably. I sure wouldn't want to see an army of them coming at me. Only she can't control them. They aren't supposed to be crazy, but they're Krogan. How smart are they to start? Have you seen Okir? Does he know about all of this? We can't go in the labs, but everyone sees what happens when the Krogan come out. I've shot hundreds. They're crazy, mindless. Anyone up there, they know what's going on. If you start limping now, you might find a shady spot before you bleed out. Shit. Oh, shit. Oh. He just about pissed himself. Some people need a heavy hand. Come on. Our <laughs> warlord is somewhere in Jador's lab. Okay. Training is part of your contract. Failure to perform means liquidation legal and otherwise. Come on! with his bl brains blown out. Woo. Hmm. Freeze him. Uh, oh, come on, don't do that. There we go. Oh. Hmm. These guys are coming at us from all sides. Fades down. Make it count. Make it count. Ah, oh, damn! I thought that was gonna be enough to kill him. Light him up. It's not enough to get Zaid back, is it? Krogan and blue suns everywhere, and only some of them have I killed. Holy shit! God.
God damn it, I hate this gun. I really needed to bring somebody with overload, didn't I? Hit him. No ammo? Ammo? I need ammo. Ooh! <laughs> oh man, Morden just took that in the face. Some ammo. Look out. Holy shit. Didn't think I was gonna jump over that. Okay. Hey, you! You are different. You. You don't smell like this world. Seven night cycles, and I have felt only the need to kill. But you. Something makes me speak. That thing's only a week old. He must know something about all this if he survived this long. Survive? Yes, I must survive, but not here. Not against these fleshy shapes. I must survive the enemy that threatens all my kind. But I failed, even before leaving Glass Mother. That is what the voice in the water said. That is why I wait here. Okir's voice? Did he speak to you while you were in your tank? I heard the voice, not like now, with ears. Inside, I called it Father. It liked that, but it was disappointed. I'm not what it needs me to be. A breeding program, trying to escape genophage effects? Who freaking knows? Escape. Escape was never whispered. Survive, resist, ignore. I destroyed Saren's cure. How does Okir expect these Krogan to ignore the genophage if not by curing it? Uncertain. Likely irrelevant. Appears Okir has had no success. How did you disappoint the voice? I don't know. It was decided before I left Tank Mother. I was not perfect. If Mercenary was correct, Krogan prone to mental instability. I don't know of that, but I'm not perfect. How can you speak if you're only a week old? There was a scratching sound in my head. And it became the voice. It taught things I would need. Walking, talking, hitting, shooting. Then the voice said I was not perfect, and the teaching stopped. And now I am here. Interesting. Raised, then rejected. Control group, failed test? I don't know, but I am not perfect. You're supposed to be part of a mercenary army. Do you remember Jador? I know that name. It causes anger, but also laughter. It is not a name that will be sung when we march. I don't know what that means, but I have heard it many times. Can you show me the laboratory? I need to speak with Okir. The... 
Glass Mother. She is up, past the broken parts, behind many of you fleshy things. I will show you. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Krogan's are strong. We get it. Huh? <laughs> Fleshy things are slow when big things are in your way. You could have run or tried to fight your way back to the labs. Why stay here? I am waiting. The voice told me if they come, I fight. But I will not run. And I will not follow. I am not perfect, but I have purpose. I must wait until called. Released. Okay. No reasoning with that guy. Maneuver. Keep it together. Agreed. Hey, Luke, run for your damn life. 